Hello plant people, how are you guys doing today? If you're new around here, my name's Ashley and I'm a soil scientist on this channel. I like to take that science and apply to all things plants. And in today's video, we're doing the so very much requested DIY potting soil video. I have told you guys a million times over, I refuse to give you a DIY potting soil recipe because I do not believe in it because I think that everyone is different and I think everyone comes from different environments, zones, planting conditions, humidity conditions, etc., and so forth. However, I have, I've been like the Buddha and I've come to the middle. I found the middle way for this where you guys will be happy, but I also will be satisfied. And that is an Excel sheet. And this Excel sheet is located on my website. I will leave a link for that down below. Now I'm going to show you guys how to use that Excel sheet in this video, as well as explain to you more so why I did it this way, rather than giving you a DIY potting soil recipe. And it'll make sense if you've been on this channel long enough and you will understand how passionate I am about everyone coming from different situations, having different access to stuff and just kind of why I chose to do it this way. So. If you guys want to check out that Excel sheet, please do. Let me know in the comments if I'm missing a plant that you want on there. This Excel sheet is over a thousand lines long. Yeah, a thousand. It took me weeks to do. So if I'm missing something on there, which I really hope I'm not, but if I am, let me know so I can add it on. It is an Excel sheet that as I update the master copy, it automatically updates the website copy. So that's really cool. But what that means is I can't make it a downloadable sheet. You have to use it on the website. Because if I put a downloadable link for it, you won't get the updated version or I will have to go in continually updating it. So we'll see what you guys think of it, how many changes you want me to make to it or how much you want me to add to it. If I don't end up adding a bunch and you guys are like, wow, thousand plus lines, this is all I need. I'm very happy with this. Then we'll stick with it. But if I'm missing stuff or you want more information and I have to add to it and it's always evolving, I suggest you bookmark <laughs> that web page so that you can refer to it whenever you desire. Now, if this can be put into an app and someone knows how to do that, let me know. I am not computer savvy, but I am willing to learn. So if you have a way of putting this into an app, that'd be super, super awesome. But like I said, I'm very, very proud of this. Now, the reason why I don't do DIY potting soil recipes is because there's a number of things that factor into whether or not a potting soil is going to work for you. And this will consist of how much root mass is in your pot, the size of your pot, even the texture of the pot. If it's plastic versus terracotta or ceramic, it, it's all going to change how the potting soil is going to interact with your plant. How you water, for example, is going to change how that potting soil is going to work. That's why when I look at things like ProMix Cacti Mix or ProMix HP Mycorrhizae, whatever, whatever, or Miracle Grow, I look at all those potting soils and I immediately think it's got to change. There's something wrong with it or it's just not going to work for me in this scenario, so I've got to fix it. So that is why I have a thousand line items that are is going to help you determine what you need for your plants based on some factors. So let's go into the website and let's look at exactly how to use this web page. So the best way to use this is actually to move left to right, logically speaking. Um, and I might may change some of this stuff around as time goes on. But for right now, this is what we're going to stick with. So you want to choose your plant type. I have that in alphabetical order and I have generic as well. So if you're looking for cacti or succulent generic, just look up cacti or succulent. I also have uh, just tropical generic. I have pepper plant generic. I'm going to put in um, like other container garden types, so tomatoes, um, that sort of thing. So it's houseplants, 
and garden plants, both of them. Hello, this is Future Editing Ashley here. I apologize. Um, that didn't work out the way that I wanted it to. So let's look at this sheet a little bit closer after the fact, and then I'll toss you back into the future so you can take a look at it. So this right here is what the blog post looks like and down below is where our excel sheet is so i just updated this i just actually changed some stuff on this as i was reviewing the video um and i'll just show you how to go through so you're going to work left to right you're going to start off with your plant type so say it's an african violet and then you're going to select your watering personality say you're an overwaterer then you're gonna move over to your percent of your pot that is filled. Now, note how I don't mention the container size, rather I'm mentioning the volume of root to soil. So, say it's 50%, which I think would be average for a lot of people, you can choose this 50, this 50, or that 50, but it's going to be based on your container type and your lighting. So, choose your container type, say it's plastic ceramic, and you, yes, have a light on it, or yes, it is an outdoor plant, then this is your recipe. It's gonna give you your base mix, your secondary base mix, type of fertilizer, and your porosity amendment. Now, LACA, you're going to see as a porosity amendment. Yes, you can mix it into the soil. That is for someone that's in the danger zone of overwatering with just even a drop of water. Um, if you don't have pumice, you can use perlite. There's no reason why you can't. And yeah, you can literally just go through the entire thing. Let me know if you have any questions, but it's pretty straightforward. And I go through so, so many plants. I'm gonna toss you back up to uh, Ashley Past and let's get on with the video. So I am super proud of this. I think that you guys, once you see it, are going to be able to navigate this very, very easily. You're gonna enjoy it. You're gonna bookmark it. I know you're gonna bookmark it. And it's a really good reference point. Now, like I said, I'm not tech savvy, so I'm not a, a miracle worker when it comes to this sort of thing. I'm hoping this format is usable. I find it usable, but some of you may not. Let me know if that's the case. I'll try to fix it. I don't know how well I'm gonna be able to fix it, but I'll try. And so yeah, you guys can check that out. Use that as a reference point for this. Like I said, there's no hate against the influencers, the YouTubers, the bloggers that have these DIY potting soil recipes each their own just in my experience dealing with helping people working in my industry i personally find that there's not one size fits all and as you will very quickly see soon see on this sheet if you have an african violet or a, a philodendron or an anthurium there's about 12 different recipe versions you can use completely dependent on just minute little factors that will change things so i hope you guys use this resource if you don't i'm probably gonna cry <laughs> not gonna lie be sure to share it wherever you think it will be helpful i want to thank you guys for watching be sure to give this video a thumbs up hit that subscribe button and i will talk to you guys next time bye